morning ladies and gentlemen. Here we are on the Foundation Expo 88 YouTube. We're just concluding the few YouTubes that we've done this morning down on the Gold Coast. We've had the great joy of interviewing Jeff Topping from My Expo 88 uh, Info uh, and also the real, I found quite fascinating discussion we had with John Walsh, uh, the gallery manager from the Gold Coast City Art Gallery in relation to their artwork from Expo 88 that they've uh, got on site. And lastly we're here, just opposite, um, the Gold Coast uh, Mirage, it's the Mirage Sheraton that was opened in 1987, uh, well and truly prior to um, Expo actually operating. And then the shopping complex, um, which was opened in September 1988, which was towards the end of Expo, which but still picked up and amplified the enthusiasm and the excitement of the Expo in South East Queensland. Uh, it was really an exciting time and an exciting place to be. Uh, and now John is going to come in and join us as we discuss a little bit more uh, about Expo. Again, good morning, John. Good morning, Peter. Thank you very much for that introduction. Yes, it's true. Gold Coast was a very important part of the success of World Expo 88 because, of course, there's no point in having a World Expo if you can't accommodate the thronging tourists that come from all over the world and throughout the state, interstate, and so on. They were and very thronging. Yes, that's right. The, th the thronging crowds of World Expo 88, the thousands upon thousands of visitors every day, up to 100,000 visitors per day. And you've got to have somewhere to accommodate them. And as you may know, the Gold Coast is only one hour south of uh, Brisbane by car. It's a tourist mecca in its own right, surface paradise, all the beaches to the north and south of, of, uh, the, of the central part of, the sur of surface paradise. And as you've seen in the just the beginning few seconds of this shot, we did a pan of some of the high rises here at, at, at Surface Paradise on the Gold Coast. Uh, we've got a great diversity of accommodation from two star right up to five star and now six star of course with the Palazzo Versace. But the most modern and state of the art hotel uh, during World Expo 88 here on the Gold Coast was of course the Sheraton Mirage as, as Peter mentioned. And, then, and the interesting thing is that that was built by Christopher Scase. Yes, yes. And Christopher Scase towards the end of his life was quite infamous. Uh, uh, and I remember a funny story actually. When the receivers took over um, the, the complex across the, uh, the way there, uh, they expected to go in and find all these valuable artifacts. And the receiver was a, a friend of mine called John Orpass. And he went in there and one by one by one they found out they were all fakes. Um, so Christopher Scase had an interesting way of self-promotion, uh, but also self uh, looking after his own pocket. Um, and, and, and it was quite a fascinating and exciting time to be uh, involved. And we just might let that part of it go over here. Rounding us out a little bit. I'll take my son up a little bit. Look like the Red Baron. He would actually. Um, and so it was an exciting time uh, to be involved in the Gold Coast um, and, and and also in Brisbane but um, you know you look at the entrepreneurs that were around at the time I mean we had that those great interviews that we did with Gary Borkin and a true gentleman uh, and a true entrepreneur I mean he just had a heart of gold they were great interviews um, and you know it's the man who put his heart and soul into it and then you on the flip side of that, you have people like Christopher Scase that raw smoke and mirrors, but at the end of the day, Queensland just sort of boomed during that period of time. Um, and, you know, one of the interesting things I find, and you're going to talk about it now, yes. is is the exciting and a little bit off the wall means of transportation between the Gold Coast and Brisbane. That's right. As I mentioned, uh, the Gold Coast is just one hour south of Brisbane by car on the Southeast Freeway. It's a very quick and painless journey. Uh, but to add a bit of a, uh, excitement, there was another way to get to the World Expo site directly from uh, Marina Mirage here, and that was by um, Hovercraft. Uh, and the name of the company was Hover Mirage, and it was an exclusive twice daily hovercraft service between Marina Mirage, the Expo 88 ferry gate, so directly to the Expo 88 site in just under two hours. Uh, it costs $74 per person. And that also included champagne and appetizers and things like that. And uh, it was the most opulent and luxurious way to get to World Expo 88 from the Gold Coast. As I said, a two hour, just under two hours to get there. And then from the Expo 88 ferry gate, it then went on towards the domestic airport. 
Uh, so it had its own dedicated uh, gate at the domestic airport as well, which it did in a further 20 minutes. And this was a twice daily journey. And although I didn't get to uh, do the hovercraft voyage to the Gold Coast or from the Gold Coast to Expo 88, whilst I was working at Expo 88, I do know of many people who did. And it was certainly the latest thing to be doing during Bicentennial Australia in Brisbane or if you're on the Gold Coast was to get on this luxurious uh, hover mirage and arrive at Expo 88 directly at the ferry gate uh, just in time for the 10 a.m. opening every day and of course the ferry gate had the advantage of being one of the least used uh, entrances to Expo 88 so you were guaranteed of getting straight in to the Expo 88 site without much of a queue because as you would know many other the gates by nine o'clock in the morning they had there were dozens of people deep and you had to wait for an hour or more uh, even after the expo gates had opened so uh, it did have that distinct advantage of you you could get off the hovercraft and you could literally just walk straight into the expo site when it opened at 10 a.m in the morning so i think that uh, is all from us this morning here on the beautiful uh, broadwater uh, on the gold coast queensland australia Thank you very much for your time this morning, Peter. Thank you very much. It's been a very productive morning. And uh, we look forward to you keeping tuned to our Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel. And, and I must say just one little thing. About a week ago when we did a, 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 a YouTube, um, we had just clicked over 800. Right. Uh, and this morning when I got up, there was 1,200 odd views. Uh, 11 or 12 or something, I can't remember the exact figure. Um, so we just wanted to say thank you very much for all those people who are looking. Um, we've got a, a program mapped out uh, that's building uh, over time and it's quite an exciting uh, little project that we're involved in. Uh, just thank you very much for looking. Thank you. Yes, of course, without our viewers, uh, we wouldn't be here. So thank you for your support and remember to share those YouTube videos on your Facebook pages and emails to your friends and things like that uh, we want to get up to 50 videos by the end of the year and more than that by the time of the 25th anniversary and we want many thousands of hits up there so keep watching and tell your friends that's John McGregor and Peter Racy signing off from thank the Gold you. Coast thank you and goodbye yeah.